Hey, so real quick, this is uh, a video. I'm gonna be replacing this LED script with my, um, on my 1964 Impala. This is gonna be my tag light. So I'm gonna cut it probably like a quarter of this length or just measure the tag light and put this on there. And I'm gonna wire directly where the wires are at. I'm gonna cut the wire that runs to the tag light housing itself where the light bulb goes into. And I'm just gonna rewire it with this. That way when I turn on my lights, this light just pop on instead of using like this little 12 volt cigarette lighter thing. Uh, so first thing first, I'm gonna cut it open and I'm gonna wire it to the battery, test it out with the battery to make sure it okay, works. So the LED, LED screws are the ones from Walmart and the uh, automotive electrical aisle where you buy your fuses and your replacement light bulbs. Um, so what I'm gonna do, since it's already kind of like prepped for you, see it? It's already prepped for you. Um, So your red wire right here is your positive, and then your black one is your negative right here. So what I'm going to do, since it's already there, I always think about working smarter, not harder. So I'm just gonna cut one off completely. So I'm gonna cut this one off completely and uh, use this one for a demonstration. So I'm gonna cut off the black piece, the black wire off this one and the red one. Right here where it got the little resistor and then the red one okay so now this is the one i cut right so now i'm gonna hook up the red to the positive positive negative yep there it is you see it let me get a better all right so that's good Look guys, there we go, bam. So now that I got this, what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna cut down here, of course, because this is the connection part. I'm probably gonna cut it right here from right, cut this off right here. So everything over here is gonna be done for. Alrighty, so hope y'all can see, let me get started. So with a Phillips head screwdriver, this is where the lights sit right here for the license plate. See, mine's not even stable. Since I'm not the first owner, I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, but go ahead and unloosen it. Okay, so here's the wires. One is already sliced. The piece right there was already connected to it to make it longer. Um, so I'm gonna cut, slice this open and then wire the end of it, the positive and the negative to whichever one. And then just uh, show you guys that. Then I'm gonna turn on the lights and see if it works. So I'll be right back. I'm just gonna slice this wire. Okay, so I slice these wires. So, gonna hook them up to whichever one so I always like to do twist them and then I like to do like a V and then the wires just twist them over each other in case I gotta switch them so I made like a knot so I make this V I twist them first, then make a little V, like a little hook. Then I do the same thing with the other wire. Make a little hook halfway. And then slide it through. And then just have the wires go over. So I'm gonna go turn on the tag lights and see if it works. Right here. 
see if it works. Then that we know that it worked, right? If you look up on it here, you see this script right here? My finger that runs around the license plate. So I'm just gonna have it right here and facing like at an angle, maybe. From here to here, facing like an angle. That way the license, the lights are not exposed and they facing like at the license plate and kind of down at the ground at the same time. So, you could do one or two things with these accessory wires. You could roll them up, leave it like this, tape out the wires, roll them up and just stick them in. Or you can cut it at the bottom, see how much you really need and cut it at the bottom and split the wire some more. And I think that's what I'm gonna do, split the wire some more, since I got scissors now, and uh, just go from there. So, watch me work. So to behold you to keep these because you also once you get the wires done you also can use this to go around the wire since you split up just open them you got long fingernails like i do just open them and go around the wires and it should wrap around them but i'm just going to use tape i'm going to do that that way so i still need to figure out how to get this off I don't know if I'm just gonna break it off. I think just breaking it probably be better. This is just in a way at this point. Just not moving, y'all. Just not moving. Oh, you know what? I think. Oh, okay. This one here is the ground. This, I figured. This here is the ground. So, bring it back up and just put it back. <laughs> Just cut it later, though. <clears throat> I still want to get rid of it, though. Yeah, I can get rid of it. Yeah. I don't know who did this, but shit. All right, right back. And that's why the light wasn't working. But 
as y'all can see, it's gonna be hidden, but at night it's gonna be exposed, but not like, see, it's gonna be good. Yeah, it's gonna be okay. So what I might do is use the other one to make it a little bit longer. As you can see, this little right here, probably best that you use this. Start from this boat and end it at this boat. I think that'll be better. But I'm just gonna leave that little script right now. Uh, see how good it lasts for me? How it works for me? See, it just failed. I'm just gonna relocate the ground. I'm gonna buy me some little tools. Hopefully the wires thick enough where I can squeeze through here. So I'm gonna cut this ground over here. That is connected to right here. Slice up the wire. Right there. See how it was over here? I I got everything off right here, but that's it. I, I'm gonna have to break that screw off. So now I'm gonna put it through this hole right here. Hope y'all get the idea. So I'm gonna put it through there and secure it through here. And that's gonna be my new prow. And now, see, right here. And next, that's it. Only thing I can do now is just probably just stick the license plate light at the top somewhere with glue because there is a rubber piece up there. And see, look, see the light. That's how I'm gonna do it. See the light shining down right there? See how the light is? See, it's hidden. You can't see it though like that though. But even you won't be able to see it. So I think I'm gonna keep it like that. And uh, tonight, I'm gonna show y'all how it look at night. But like I said, I might relocate it or I might get the other one out and probably just uh, put it at the top where the rubber piece is at. See that? That's where the rubber piece is at, but it's not sticking. So, yep. I see y'all. All right, y'all. There y'all have it. Here go my aftermarket of a script, aka tag light. <laughs> the LED script light from Walmart costs 20 bucks. This is how I look. It's beautiful. Look at that. At a distance, it light up the back ground. Just perfect. Look at that. Tucked away, so there it is. Like it's supposed to be there. Original. Nah. Do a little walk around car. I got LEDs in the front too. Those are halos. They know my lights. Lights. These are halos. Thank y'all for watching. Show me back one more time. <clears throat> so that was it, guys. So you got a 60s Impalas or any type of car that has the tail light and doesn't work. Hey, it's a nice little conversion right here. Just cost me 20 bucks. Everything else I had. Just need wire cutters and black tape and Phillip head screwdriver. That's it. So, let me know what y'all think about it. Appreciate y'all.